Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new feature on VS Code, which is the latest Jupyter extension. So VS Code already has a notebook extension, but that was not a complete Jupyter extension. So what Microsoft has done recently is that it, they have refactored their extension to have the replica of Jupyter notebook. So you can read more about it. But the biggest advantage of it is that now because you have got this extension, which is which is almost like Jupyter extension, all you have to do is if you have uh, R kernel or Julia kernel or Scala kernel installed on your Jupyter notebook, then you can use the same language as R or Julia or Scala other than Python on your VS Code notebook also. So the previous case, you can use only Python on Jupyter notebook on VS Code. But right, right now, if you have the latest extension installed, then you can also use any other languages for which the kernels you have already installed on your machine. So this is a great thing for a lot of developers who you who do who use multiple languages. For example, now in this uh, tutorial, we are going to look at how to install an R kernel. But before we move on, if you have never used Jupyter Notebook on VS Code, I've already made a separate video quite some time back. I'll link that video in description so you can have a look at it. But if you have not, then very small uh, brief uh, instruction of how to do that. First, you have to go to this GitHub repository. I'll link that in the description. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you like this channel. Uh, you can go and then click uh, this download. This is a VS Code Insider. It's not shipped as part of, you know, uh, the main production. So you have to install VS Code Insider. Once you have that, then you have to make sure that you have got some Jupyter kernel. So in your case, if you have installed already Python or Anaconda, so you would have this up and running already by this time. So you don't have to be bothered about it. The third step is you have to install the Jupyter extension of for VS Code. So that is quite simple. You can either install it from here or you can go to uh, the VS Code uh, and type Jupyter and then you can get it installed from there. So once you do all these things, you are successfully up and running. All you have to do is you have to go to your VS Code, click Command Shift P and then create a new blank Jupyter notebook and that's going to create a notebook for you. So you have uh, Python and you have the Jupyter notebook in place. So that is done for you. So what do we do next? Uh, the next step is now we are going to look at how to install R kernel for your uh, Jupyter notebook. So in, if you want to use R, so let me just show Python here. Um, print happy into three i've got happy three and you have got this right so let's say if you want to use r in your jupyter notebook on vs code what do you do so this step is simple so first main thing is you have to make sure that you have got r on your machine once you have that you have to install r kernel so all you have to do is copy this this is i'll link this link also so you have to install r kernel you can go here and uh, install r uh, let's invoke r first once you have invoked R, you can say install dot packages. I R kernel small. And then you install it. It's going to ask you to select a mirror session. Uh, you have to select the mirror. Once you select that, it is going to go ahead with the installation. Once you do that, then you have to invoke that package uh, like this. That is done. All you have to do is invoke it. Now you have successfully got R kernel. Now we can quit your R kernel if you don't want. Don't save the workspace. Now that is done. Now all you have to do is close your VS code. That has been reopened. Now you can actually see that I can go create a new Jupyter notebook. At the same time, I can go click Python 3. And then you can see I've got R to our kernel install because I've got one before. So after I install it, all I have to do is uh, let's say plot iris, very popular. Uh, there is there is some uh, bug, but uh, you can see that you can use or you can say hist of empty cars pg. You know that you've got R installed. You've got R successfully installed. We can give one more try. Uh, now in this case, let's try to install Julia just to recap until now what we have done is we have learned about the latest uh, Julia sorry latest Jupyter extension 
for VS Code, which is a completely refactored uh, Julia, uh, sorry, Jupyter extension, which means you can use any language, unlike before where you could use only Python. So if you have got a kernel installed for a particular language, you can take that, you can use the same kernel. You don't have to separately do any installation. So now let's look at how to install Julia kernel on notebook, Jupyter notebook. Julia kernel, Jupyter notebook. So once we do that, we are going to get some support. We're going to say we have to do add Julia. So uh, if we have to do that, uh, alternatively you can uh, Julia image Python session do this type. Okay, let's do add Julia. For that first, we have to invoke Julia um, Repl. Let's invoke Julia Repl now. Add Julia. There is an error add i julia okay it says there is an error um the token julia after end of expression to this short let's see uh, we have to enter into the package mode now do add julia okay now oh, it's installing i'm new to julia so uh, i hope if you also face this error this would be helpful to you It's getting installed after it installs we have to probably check our vs code once again and to see if we have got we can close this don't save anything close it okay looks like it has been successfully installed now let's go and click command shift p which will tell us select a kernel you can click select a kernel and then okay first create a blank Jupyter notebook then select a kernel you can click here and select it uh, oh we have got Julia in place I've never written any code in Julia so just let's look for simple for loop Julia hello world okay I think we just have to say uh, let's call it um, hello equal to good morning then you type hello you have good morning nice let's try something it doesn't work like python i was trying but basically you get the idea so now you have got julia in place uh, you have got python in place different versions of python you have got r in place so it is one uh, vs code extension uh, but now you have got support for multiple languages which means uh, all you have to do is you have to go to your vs code the same way you used to use jupyter notebook now you can just go to vs code all you have to do is close it don't save it command shift p uh, create a blank notebook and uh, once you create a blank notebook you can select whatever uh, kernel that you want you select the kernel that you like and then you can start write your code uh, so let's say in my case if i want r then i can click r then i can just basically say r and um range okay i think i'm getting confused between multiple languages uh, Yeah, this is a problem I'm getting confused between multiple languages. so I have so ignore this error I think this is an error because it's a new uh, extension there is some error uh, that is um, but you can just ignore it as you move down uh, it wouldn't uh, have that error in place so you can just ignore that error and move on so basically uh, what we have seen a quick overview is that we learned about the new Jupyter extension for VS code and uh, we also learned what is the biggest change the biggest change is that now you can actually use any language for which you have got a, a kernel installed on Jupyter and we also learned how to install a Jupyter extension for VS code if you have never done that please don't worry I've got a video I can link that video and after that we also learned how to install our kernel on Jupyter notebook and also we saw a demo of how we used R and then we also installed Julia kernel uh, for installing R. So I hope this video was helpful and uh, if you have any comments or if you have any difficulties while you go through this process, please let me know in the comment section. If not, uh, I'll be very happy to, uh, I'll be very happy if you can like this video, share the word about this video to your friends and uh, I hope uh, you also start using VS Code on uh, 
sorry jupyter on vs code which is quite handy if you have one editor and then you can do multiple things it's really handy thank you so much for watching this video until next video stay safe take care